and what could be um, in examining the causes of the moon phases and eclipses brings attention to the role of uv radiation emitted by the sun the sun could be seen as a bulb a light bulb and the moon could be seen as a fluorescent tube uv light ultraviolet radiation and the moon charges itself and depending on the percentage of its charges it glows right apart from that the sun is also taken into account the factor of the sun sun's angle that's the second factor which is taken into account and the third factor is the vortex the electromagnetic fields of the earth so three these three factors and which makes the moon phases the way it happened it's nothing that the earth or other whatever the global says is coming in the middle okay tune any comment on that or um, I'm I'm anxious to hear how the magnetic field does it, but uh, that's for a, a future discussion, I think. So yeah, thanks. Oh, we, we will we will uh, see that maybe in the in the claims part. Yep. <laughs> okay. Okay. Great. And then awesome. uh, Vika, your last question. My last question was: uh, Did you consider the a uh, watch, a clock or a watch, a scientific instrument capable of doing precise calculations? Um, I think a watch or a clock is not is not generally doing calculations, but it does a, uh, a fantastic job at the high quality of, of uh, measuring time. But if you want to, it depends on how you're going to use the word calculation. I suppose you could you could bend the word a little bit to mean that, but I wouldn't put it into the category of calculations. There are certainly mechanical devices that can do calculations. Um, the uh, the Enigma machine, for example, in World War II was a a, a mechanical computer. So a, a good example of it. Okay, awesome. So so also that the people have idea right uh, about why this question is. You have the second hand of the watch or a clock move 60 times, then the minute hand moves 60 times in turn, the hour hand moves, right? It's a gear ratio of doing calculations for precise measurement and calculations, right? That's what uh, a chronometer or a clock or a watch does, right? 